Say that you rail. Right, then I'll tell her plain. She sings as sweetly as a nightingale. <laughs> <laughs> I say she looks as clear as morning roses, newly washed with dew. I say she'd be mute and will not speak a word. Then I'll commend her volubility and say she uttereth piercing eloquence. If she do bid me pack, I'll give her thanks as though she bid me stay by her a week. If she denied her wed, I'll freeze the day when I shall ask the bands and when be married. But here she comes. And now, Petruchio, speak. Good morrow, Kate. Well, that's your name, I hear. <laughs> well, have you heard? And yet something hard of hearing. They call me Catherine that do talk of me. You lie! In faith, for you are called plain Kate. And bonny Kate. Sometimes Kate is cursed. But Kate, <laughs> the prettiest Kate in Christendom. Kate of Kate Hall. My super dainty Kate. For dainties are all Kates. And therefore, Kate, Take this of me, Kate of my consolation, for hearing thy mildness praised in every town, thy virtue spoke of, and thy beauty sounded, yet not so deeply as to thee belongs. Myself have moved to woo thee for my wife. Moved in good time. Let him that moved you hither remove you hence. I knew you at the first, you were immovable. Why, what's immovable? A jolly stool. Oh, sit it. Come. Sit on me. Oh. Asses were made to bear, and so are you. Women are made oh. to bear, and oh. so are you. <laughs> no such jade as you, if me you mean. Alas, good Kate, I will not burn thee for knowing thee to be but young and light. Too light for such a swain as you to catch. Yes, as heavy as my weight should be. Should be, should buzz. Well tame and like a buzzard. Oh, slow-wing turtle. Shall a buzzard take me? Aye, for a turtle as he takes a buzzard. Oh, come, come, you wasp face. You are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. My remedy is then to pluck it out. Aye, if the fool could find it where it lies. Who knows not what a wasp? That's where his sting? In his tail. In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails. And so, farewell. What? With my tongue in your tail? <laughs> Nay, come again, good Kate. I am a gentleman. That I'll try. <laughs> I swear, I'll cuff you if you strike again. <coughs> so may you lose your arms if you strike me. You are no gentleman, and if no gentleman, why then, no arms. A herald, Kate. Oh, put me in thy books. What is your crest? A cock's comb. A comer's cock, so Kate will be my hand. No cock of mine. You crow too like a crow. Oh, come, Kate, come, you must not look so sour. This is my fashion when I see a crab. My well, hair is not crab, and therefore look not sour. There is, there is. <laughs> then show it to me. Had it a glass, I would. What? You mean my face? Well aimed <laughs> of such a young one. Now, by St. George, I am too young for you. Yet. You are withered. Tis with cares. I care not. Nay, here you take oh, oh. In sooth, you escape not so. I'd shake you if I tarry. Let me go. No, not a whit. I find you passing gentle. Twas told me you were rough and coy and sullen, and now I find report a very liar. <coughs> For thou art pleasant, gamesome, passing courteous, but slow in speech, yet sweet as springtime flowers. Thou canst not frown, thou canst not look askance, nor bite the lip as angry wenches will. But thou, with mildness, entertains thy wooers with gentle conference, soft and affable. Oh, 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 oh! Why does the world report that Kate doth limp? Oh, slanderous world! Kate, like the hazel twig, is straight and slender, and as bright. 
down in humorous hazelnut and sweeter than the kernels. Let me see thee walk. Thou dost not halt. Go, fool, and who thou keep's command. Did ever Diane so become a groove as Kate, this chamber with her princely gait? Oh, be thou Diane, and let her be Kate, and let Kate be chaste, and Diane be total. <laughs> Where did you study all this godly speech? It is extempore from my mother wit. A witty mother, a wit as well as her son. Am I not wise? Yes. Keep you warm. Marry. Oh. So I mean, sweet Catherine, oh. in thy bed. Oh. Oh. And therefore, setting all this chat aside, thus in plain terms, your father has consented that you shall be my wife. Oh. Your dowry agreed on, and will you? Nil you. I will marry you. Now, Kate, I am a husband for your turn. For by this light, whereby I see thy beauty, thy beauty that doth make me like thee well. Thou must be married to no man but me, for I am he and born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild, Kate, to a Kate conformable as other household Kates. <laughs> because your father never make denial. I must and will have Catherine to my wife. <coughs> now, Signor Petruchio, how speed you with my daughter? How but well, sir, how but well, and were impossible I should speed amiss. How now, daughter Catherine? In your dumps. Call you me, daughter? Oh, dear. Now I promise you, you have showed a tender fatherly regard to wish me wed to one half lunatic, a madcap ruffian and a swearing jack that thinks with oaths to face the matter out. Father, it is thus. Yourself and all the world that talk to her have talked to miss of her. If she be cursed, it is for policy. For she is not rough, but as modest as the dove. She is not hot, but as temperate as the morn. And to conclude, we have agreed so well together that upon Sunday is the wedding day. I'll see thee hanged on Sunday first. Hark you, Petruchio. She says she'll see thee hanged first. <laughs> this your speeding. Nay, then, good night, our part. Be patient, gentlemen. I choose her for myself. If she and I be pleased, what's that to you? <laughs> Tis bargain, twixt us twain, being alone. She shall still be cursed in company. Oh, I tell you, it is incredible to believe how much she loves me. Oh, the kindest Kate. She hung about my neck and kissed on kiss and bides so fast, protesting oath on oath that in a twink she won me to her love. Give me thy hands, Kate. I will unto Venice to buy a pound against the wedding day. Provide the feast, father, and bid the guests. I'll be sure my Catherine shall be fine. I know not what to say. <laughs> Give me thy hand. God send you joy, Petruchio. <laughs> Tis a match. Oh, men, say we, we will be witnesses. Father, wife, and gentlemen, adieu. I will to Venice. Sunday comes apace. We will have rays and things and fine array. Oh, kiss me, Kate. <laughs> we will be married a Sunday. <laughs>